They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Girls. Good girls. Scouted ahead, the lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. Can't believe we missed this. Anything for Freya? Hope it's to your liking. Need something? Want something in particular? Dream of anguish. The elves would kill for this. The cutter of hearts and the fury of the sky. No need to thank me. Whatever you need, I'll create. Whatever you need.
Whatever you need. Quiet. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out. Not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Oh, <laughs> 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 
something. It's stronger this time. Over here. Open up. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Guarding that way outside. Oh, my God. 
place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings, Mary Wanderer of the Woods, Robin of the Gunther. Let me guess, I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! I'm a long-winded know-it-all, and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine Hacksilver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! But bloody hell! Look at that thing! That's frost in my neck stump! <laughs> Oh. It's vulnerable oh. when it glows! <laughs> 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 Oh! 
Another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. 
The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you? Babbling. Official. My boy. You everything. Balter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Balter, come back! Talk to me! Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't no, no, to me! No. You served Odin for the day you met him to the day! He put you in that tree! You sought our favor! You poisoned his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave my dinner until you I became a better man, a counselor of the peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Krala? Or to Tanya? No! You! Oh, took the side of the power! You! Mother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent guy in need and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you've always been! It's who... Suffering. To Scott? To Krola? Or to Tanya? No! 
what you must. Brother, the trees! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! the way he wants to be seen. Pass the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it.
Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. 
I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. What's that? <laughs> That's the wrong way up if you want to get out of here. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norms. Find a gateway. 
Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. May it strike true. Cool. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. For the Valkyrie Queen? Kratos? I'm here for you. What can I make for you? And now, Freya? Now, where'd you find this? Take that off your hands, and wash it. I'll disinfect my tools. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you.
now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you hulking thing bad.
their back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Son, we... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us. I know I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? I'm ready when you are. <sighs> 
See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <clears throat> no, you shrimps think that'll keep us out well think the fuck again what was no, all that just then century trying to hog all the glory same old shit. not that the gate what's wrong with a bloody gate most likely someone in need of a live and making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service time. Direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Well, See why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Are you okay? <laughs> Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Listen, you have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No, do not ask again. But, oh dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again! You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only <laughs> rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Oh! 
These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. Ice as well. It's open. A sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. I need to get one of those gates open. Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked, shall we? that the reason you propose this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where the I am be. only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now where have they got the third one hidden away?
Not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Ah, it's in what? Oh, 
motherfucker. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. And they're angry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Here after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something better. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! You sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, girl. He's it enough when it's time to steal my kitchen.
forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong? Those creepy flying eyeballs messed up. You're awake up there. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Well, thank you. But you can't turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. We gotta have a close talk at once, see? Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Once more. Aye, aye. <laughs> ah, promising. Again.
crank cover. You do the other stuff. you needed to find was down there. You'd have found it already. Hey, where are you going? We gotta figure this out or we ain't going nowhere. I think they've seen it. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. 
Stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Vampire. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot! The sound of the wind! Oh, watch and learn! See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the game. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. What? You got something to say? Say it already! creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never Go. seen you so reverent. Are you ah. nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Fix everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, if this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. 
Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I get so caught up in trying to be the best that I work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your head. Alfie Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? She 
ideas like they weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! Reflect sight, brother! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What well, hell! Ain't this just like old times? I'm going to put it more rewardingly myself. This one, boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <laughs>
Guesses, belt boy. Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Taking over them ground. We better beat them out. Over here! Want to get out of here? Listen up. Throw a spear into that thing right there. Oh, 
Hello there. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those grim will take you down. <laughs>
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. Brock, when you knew Faye, was she... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. We do. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. <laughs> Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. 
You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever, kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior <laughs> bastard. And now that I'm showing up here, at least you rattled him as much as he rattled you.
that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could <laughs> say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Oh! 
Is your shield broken? <laughs> 